Now I'm going to take my cord and I'm going to draw the design that I want on it and then head outside with that saber burr so that I can strip some skin off. So I just used the radius of my wrist to mark out the area, the usable area that would be visible on the core. Doesn't need to be perfect. If it's too perfect, it won't look handmade, will it? Okay, I think because of all the darkness, this is going to be the side that I want to use for the leaves, and then the other side can be something floral. Okay, so we're going to end up with a leaf here, leaf here, leaf here, leaf here, leaf here, 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 here. So this is going to be my leaf areas. Right, I'm not terribly good at freehanding leaves, and these are a little bit too big, so I don't think I can use these for templates. I'm just going to have to kind of draw these leaves in. Put them to look like oak leaves. So first I would burn the leaves, then I'll burn the edges of that, and then I'll do the stippling outside. Which actually that means I don't have to use the new bar, I can just use the little turban head one. Okay, now I've got to find a design for this side, so give me just a second. Okay, so now I am going to use one of the diamond burrs, just a little sharpie. And I, gosh, you can barely see my design on here, but I'm going to go ahead and score it all in. And I think rather than wood burning, because sometimes you can't be as precise with wood burning, I think I'm going to score it with this and then maybe use some dark dye and dye the lines that I want dyed. And maybe that will be a little bit quicker and easier. Let's see. I can always go back and wood burn it. Okay, that was quick. So what I learned with that was, while this was great for making those bubbles and making little holes, it doesn't pull and it doesn't draw really well. So back to the wood burner, which is fine because I like the piece of quiet of that anyway. <laughs> Along the lines, I decided that a board on one side that was completely committed to representing the fall time of year was a little bit locked in, and I decided that on the other side, it should represent a different holiday. And so on the other side, we have a Christmas shooting star and the crèche. So while you're watching this, you must understand that I decided that I needed to put a crèche on the back side of the gourd so that it would actually serve two functions at once. And this is what you're seeing. I am using a compass to set everything up and I am drawing with the lines and I would like a shooting star 
and yeah I wanted the score to serve two things at once So that's how I made the star absolutely on both sides. I drew one side, folded it in half, and cut it. So that's why it's symmetrical. Now we're gonna do the messy stuff and you're probably going to see some cats go by. <laughs> So what I'm going to be doing is scraping off stuff there that is Kiki. Hi Kiki. Hello. Hello. I'm going to make some noise, okay? Yeah, we're going to make some noise. Good. I'm going to make some noise. It's going to be noisy. Dusty. Noisy. I'm going to make noise. So this is shaping up to be maybe one of my favorite pieces ever. What I just did was I took a very, very small engraver bit and I just went around into the tiny, tiny little areas where I couldn't get with the larger bit. And I did all of the work with the larger bit outside and that was, well, <laughs> that was this one. The, saber tooth burr and this is kind of like a cone shape or a flame shape and it did such a great job I almost didn't have to go back and do anything at all and the way I worked it to make it a little bit more random was I kind of went and figure eight shapes so that it looks like there's still a little bit too much right there but I'm just kind of looking at it making sure it looks it looks like there's a little bit too much there too I'm just making sure things look that they're at the same depth that they're back the same amount and looks like we need a little bit more there as well and then what I'll do is I'll go back in anywhere that I've nicked just a little tiny bit I'll go back with the wood burner and just touch it up so that you can't even see it this is turning out to be one of my favorite gourds ever so this is fall on one side and on the other side I'm going to cut it open here and this is just going to be a crèche and the star is to hide the little bit of the um, oil the oil lamp that'll be in here the star will just hide the oil lamp that will be in here and this will all be cut out and this will be gold and this will be cut out as well and it'll just be a sweet little crèche for the holiday season so i'm thinking this really is going to be one of my favorite courts ever i'm just loving this look